This video is a quick, simple tutorial about how to do some wire work technique, which is what is used a lot of the time in stump work embroidery. This will basically be something that you'll stitch and be able to cut out and you can add it to your embroidery pieces to make it look more three-dimensional. So there's a couple things that you'll need for this tutorial. You will need the usual items such as embroidery thread. I'm just going to be using one color for this demonstration. You'll need some linen or cotton fabric would be the best to use. I would say something that's more medium weight is good for this since you'll be cutting it out. You'll need an embroidery hoop and I'm just using a small embroidery needle. You'll need a pair of embroidery scissors and the special things that you'll need for stump work would be a pair of wire cutters or a pair of junk scissors. You don't want to use the same kind of scissors that you're using for your embroidery to cut the wire because it will mess them up and dull them. And you'll also want some sort of artistic wire. I am using the brand Artistic Wire and it is a 30 gauge wire. I have found that 30 gauge or 28 gauge works well for this. It's thin enough to shape, but it's not super fragile. So I just wanted to do a leaf for this tutorial because I think a simple shape is the easiest to get started with because you're going to have to kind of mold the wire to whatever shape you want to cut out. So I went ahead and drew using a Frixon erasable pen. I drew a leaf onto the fabric so we can just get started with this. So the very first thing you're going to want to do is take your wire and we're going to cut out a piece. I like to kind of just kind of estimate and leave a little bit of room so I'm going to cut something that's definitely longer than what's needed but it's easier to start with that and then trim it. So I'm just going to trim off some wire. So after you've cut out this wire, you're going to want to gently shape it similar to whatever this shape is. And you wanna think about which way you're gonna be attaching it in the fabric before you start doing this because the base of the leaf is what's obviously gonna be attached. Naturally, you're gonna to wanna to just, you know, shape it like this because that makes, you know, that seems easier but you're gonna wanna use the excess tails to actually stick it down in the fabric when you're done. So you actually want it to be this way. So you're gonna wanna kind of shape a point. And this doesn't have to be super accurate cause I will show you kind of how to guide it along as you stitch it and secure it onto the fabric. So this is just kind of roughly getting a shape going for this. So once you've done that, you can Kind of shape it around the base here and don't I wouldn't twist it or anything like that you're gonna want to kind of keep the the legs the little excess pieces alone so this is actually fine for right now because I like to start at the point and secure my stitches around so the next thing you're gonna want to do is take your thread and I'm going to cut a piece and I'm just going to use one strand of this thread. So the first thing you ever want to do is start stitching at that very point. So I'm just going to be making a few straight stitches over top of this wire to secure it enough to the fabric to where I can start filling in the shape and stitching over the wire to conceal it. So these stitches are just kind of anchor stitches. So they're just gonna be little stitches and they you can just evenly space them around the shape. The first few are the hardest, so take your time. But I'm just gonna make one tiny little stitch here. And then I'm gonna start working my way around. So I'm just going to skip a little bit of space and start making a couple of little stitches. And you want these to be really small. You don't want them to be poking outside of the wire too much because you're gonna want the edge to be super smooth along this edge. So just try to keep them as small as possible like I'm doing here. And 
This is the easiest way to kind of shape the wire is to just like gradually shape it as you go. I like the 30 gauge wire for this because it's super easy to like bend. It is, you know, you have to be careful because if you bend it too much, it's hard to bend back and smooth over, which is why I just like to kind of get like a very general shape done before I start actually securing it. But I'm just gonna go around. Okay, so I am about halfway down here. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to actually start crossing this over like that. And this stitch right here at the very bottom, I want to secure both of the wires together. And it's fine that they cross once, you just don't wanna twist them. So those are secured now, and then I'm just gonna kinda be gently manipulating this wire to make sure it stays smooth. All right, so I'm gonna just flip this over and secure the thread in the back. And you can also kind of pull these tails down to kind of get them out of your way. Don't cut these or anything, just leave them be. But I like to kind of straighten them out so they're not flying around as I'm stitching. And then I will show you how you can um, finish the sleeve up. So there are a variety of ways that you can cover this wire now that you've secured it onto the fabric. Um, you can just do more of those straight stitches or you can also do an overcast stitch. But I think that the easiest one to cut out is the blanket stitch. So in order to do a blanket stitch, I'm gonna go ahead and just start at the very top here. And you're gonna come up beside, right beside the wire. And I am going to go back down right beside it and you're going to catch this loop and go in between to catch it and you're just going to keep working your way down like that and you want them to be relatively close together and also uh, side note I am using two strands for this you can use as many as you'd like. Uh, I would say probably one to two is best for this. So I'm just gonna work my way around using this blanket stitch. All right, so I quickly did a little blanket stitch around that leaf. It's probably could be a little bit neater, but for demonstration's sake, it will do. Um, so now that that is done, all you have to do now is fill in the shape. So again, I'm just gonna use two strands of embroidery floss, same color, and I'm just gonna do some satin stitches. I'm going to draw a line down the center and kind of make it look more like a leaf. So there's kind of a split down the center, like a vein. So I'm going to do that. If you're interested in trying your hand at something a little bit more challenging and fun, um, I do have a pattern for a ficus houseplant and the leaves are sunbrook leaves and they're thread painted. So definitely check that out. I'll leave a link below if you want to try your hand at that. So I'm just gonna start at the top and I find it easier with these stitches to start at this like towards the center and then go back down close to where those other stitches are because they can be a little tricky to stitch around sometimes. So I'm just gonna go down each side of the leaf and make kind of diagonal satin stitches to fill this in. Uh -huh. 
And as you can see, I try to go like right up near the wire. And you don't want to have any blank spaces. All right, so I'm going to take my fabric out of the hoop here, and you wanna make sure that you have secured the knots on the back and kind of trim. If you have like any excess stuff, kind of trim that. You might end up trimming some of it um, when you cut this, but you just don't want it showing from the back. And this is what it looks like on the fabric. And basically, you're just gonna go in and you're going to cut around. And I like to kind of bend this up so it's out of the way because you wanna keep these wires. And you're just gonna carefully cut around the edge. Try really, really hard <laughs> to not cut into the stitches because you can definitely unravel things that way. So that's why I think it's really helpful to have a nice pair of embroidery scissors. You don't want to use like regular craft scissors that are thicker. You want something that's smaller and sharp. So I'm just going to cut around here very carefully. You can always go back through so if you feel like something um, is kind of risking it, you know, don't be too um, crazy with your cutting. <laughs> You can always go back around and trim it. And it's okay if there's like a slight halo around it, but you wanna try and cut as close as you can so it's not obvious that there's fabric surrounding it. It will also help if you stitch on a color that's similar to whatever you're gonna cut out so it's easier to film this with white fabric but if you had green fabric for a green leaf it would look a lot better because then you wouldn't see the fabric edges as much but I'm pretty happy with the way this turned out I think that's pretty good it looks kind of crazy against my hand but once you put it back on fabric it's not gonna be as noticeable so then what you can do is place some fabric back in a hoop and then you can stick these wires down through the fabric and secure the leaf onto the fabric. So I will quickly show you the easiest way to do that. So you want to make sure that your wires are as straight as possible. I'm also going to trim these wires so they're even because right now there's one that's slightly longer than the other and you're gonna take your needle and I'm just gonna poke it with the eye and kind of move around the needle to try and create a larger hole in the fabric. You don't wanna tear it, but you wanna make a hole that's like a little bit bigger so it'll be easier to pass the wires through. So then you can just stick your wire down through the hole and kind of thread it through that way. So now it is kind of sitting in the fabric. What I like to do on the back is fold the wire up like this. And then I like to make stitches along the base of the leaf with the same color we used. So now I'm just gonna go at the base of the leaf here and I'm just using one strand and I'm gonna go down through the actual base of that leaf a little bit and I'm gonna make a couple of stitches and you wanna make them around that wire. So go into the leaf a little bit and it shouldn't be super obvious since you're using the same color. 
and that way it will secure onto the fabric. And then on the back here, kind of twist over onto the wire and grab the fabric slightly. This is gonna show through the front so you wanna make sure it's near the base so you, it's not gonna be obvious. And then you can basically just tie this together and trim this excess wire off. And I like to like double and triple knot it. Use my wire cutters. I like to leave a little bit of a tail, that way it doesn't like accidentally fall through the fabric if it's not secured super well, but that should be pretty secure. And then you've got a little leaf. And this one, like I said, I could have done a little bit better with the edges here, but I think it's pretty cool. And you can fold it to where it has different positions and you got a three dimensional leaf. I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. Check out my post all about this. It's got step-by-step -step pictures and I also have a pattern if you want to try your hand at more sump work. Thanks so much.